I'm going to sing my own intro because I don't want to get demonetized. Perfect. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are checking out Star Wars Battlefront 2, the multiplayer beta. Before we jump into the multiplayer game, very quickly, want to open up some loot boxes that I got. I streamed this last night for an hour or two, had a really, really good time with it. Give away a load of keys. Um, hopefully, we've got a couple more to give away on the Catch Potatoes live stream, if you can catch that. But I'm going to start by opening this bad boy. It seems to be a daily crate, which is interesting. And whoa, hold on a second. That is the best one I've ever gotten. That, that's brilliant. Let me open these two first, though. Defensive upgrade for the fighter. We've got crafting parts. Uh, okay. And then, whoa, interceptor, fire control cycler. Whatever that means. I don't know what any of this stuff means. Because when it comes to Star Wars, I've watched the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh movie, I think it is. I don't think I've watched one, two, and three. I've been told maybe just to skip those. Hey, look at that! Extended sharpshooter for Han. Brilliant. We've got the heavy resourcefulness. I don't really like playing the heavy. And then we've got a repair system for our fighter as well. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, when I played on the stream, I found that I was getting on best when I went into the multiplayer uh, on Galactic Assault with the Assault class. That's basically just the very typical run and gun. It's got a dive roll. It's got a shotgun and you have a bit of a heal as well. Like It's just a nice little balance of the three. I did try playing as the heavy. Didn't get on particularly well with that. Um, and also, I guess with the... The, I guess with the officer, not so good. The officer is basically a regular human looking dude, and he basically has a turret. He's a bit of a Torbjorn type of character, I guess. Um, I'm just going to see if I've got any cards for this guy. So I've got that combat enhancer, and that's about it. And then in terms of weapons, I do have a better one, but it's not really better, is it? There we go. Let's jump on in. So we're basically going to be on the attack, I want to say. Yeah, I think we might actually be on the attack. So the way this works is you've got to escort this gigantic machine all the way towards uh, the enemy, I guess, like Citadel or whatever the building technically is called. Um, and we've got to pick up these. Oh, no, actually, no, we're defending. Okay, so they're coming towards the Citadel, the robots, the drones. Um, and we have got to run these ion disruptors out into the main road and go ahead and shoot it at the giant MTT. Oh, that's, a, that's an ally. That's fine. So he's got to get a line of sight on this bad boy, and away he goes. I think you might have to get a little bit closer, dude, unless you can. No, yeah, I think, I don't know if he realizes that he's got to get closer. Come on, that way. No, you're not coming with me? All right, cool. Dive roll on that one. So like I said, you got a need on Q. Whoa! Which side are they on? There's a couple more guys knocking about. Is there still a guy there? No. Oh, my shotgun's about to run out. No, it's all gone. Never mind. I think the MTT actually, like, fires at you as well. Whoa, this guy's just there. Where is he? Where is he? Roll. Got it. Nice. Need it. Need it. Need it. Dive down there. Should be fine. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm going to press F to get my heal on as well. If you stand around your allies as well, you typically tend to stay alive for a lot longer, which is quite nice. Because um, you get, like, extra little buffs from being with them. Nice. Caught him off guard. I am so low right now. Uh, there's another bot down. Anybody else knocking him out? No, we're good. Okay, my health points are back up. Right, we need to go pick up this other ion disruptor, so I'm going to have a little run and go and grab it. And hopefully, if I can have a heavy with me, we can go ahead. Oh, that's an ally. We can go ahead and um, run this out into the main road and go for a big blast. G to pick it up, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Right. All I've got to do is go to here. Is that going to be close enough? Come on. Come on. Oh, aim it, aim it, aim it. And locking on objective. See that bar above my head? It's building. It's building. It's building. Boom. Nailed it. All right, let's attack it. Go, 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 go. Just get all those hit markers on it. Get a need out there as well. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. Got to get it down. Got to burn it down. Right, there we go. It's back to normal. So now we need to find another disruptor and we'll be good to go. In fact, there's another one back there, which is pretty cool. And as well as that, you've obviously got to kill the uh, the enemies. When they start to storm the Citadel, um, it's a case of trying to kill 100 of them before they can complete their objective. Why did I press E there? All right, you take it, dude, and I'll, I'll defend you. I've got my shotty out. The shotgun's actually genuinely really powerful. I had some really, really good kill streaks last night with it. Like three, four kills in a row, like just with the shotty. Felt a little bit OP. Uh, oh, gotta get that guy there. Go, 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 go. Nope, it's not working. No, damn. Heal and roll. Ah, oh, no, I got licks in the head. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, by a sniper. Shironochi. That's a pretty cool name, actually. 
digging it. Now, the one thing that I don't like is if you're even if you're not changing your class, it brings you out to this screen, and I feel like it really breaks the immersion. It's ruining my immersion, but it genuinely does. Like, it's nice being on spectator mode and just watching an ally and maybe giving them a little bit of assistance. Um, but doing it this way doesn't seem to help you out that much. You just sort of get stuck a little bit out of sight. Uh, any dudes here? Oh, nice. Oh, go get it. Oh, my shot, he ran out. Got him though, got him though. Roll, 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 roll. Heal, heal, heal. He is chasing me. Hopefully I, I can get him. He's burned through your shield. Where is he? Oh, there, there he is. There he is. Got him. Laid out. That's not going to get him. Oh, no, he did. Oh, fantastic. Two-player kill streak. Man, there are loads of dudes here. Loads of dudes. Roll. Ah, I couldn't get out of the way in time. That was a nice little three kill though. Really what I should be doing is working on the objective. I don't think I was doing that then. <laughs> I was just going for some glory kills. And that's one of the problems with this game is that it has always been very objective based, um, the Battlefront game. Same with the first one as well. And there's a lot of people that play it who just go for kills. And it's like, it's it can be frustrating. Right, we've got an ion disruptor just over there. See, when you're the enemy, it actually shows you where the current disruptor is. And shows you uh, when they're like charging up the ability as well, which is kind of cool. Someone else going to get that? No, I got it. Your boy's got it. I've just got to get myself out to the, the road. I've got to get close enough to get a shot off on it. But I need to be really careful as well. I need my guys to defend me. So there's another one just there as well. Now, can I get a straight line of sight on this? Would that work? Man, it, it, it's the actual... It's the actual MTT is just blasting here. Because obviously he can see where I am. No, it's still out of range. Got to try and get a bit closer. But he knows I'm coming for him. Yep, there we go. Ouchie. Right, it is close enough now. Come on. I'm just going to lock it on. I'm on a corner. He's probably going to destroy me. Get it right in the schnoz. Go on. Yep, got it. There we go. Nice. Let's just run it down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Keep going. Ah, no, yep. He got me eventually. <laughs> the guy that's <laughs> that's maintaining that machine and running it, he's definitely on it. He knows what he's doing. Because some of them just fire blindly. And I think, they're obviously, with the flyers as well, they typically try to take those down instead. But they often don't make too much of a difference. But... Seems like this guy's on it. Okay, so that guy's picking up an Ion Disruptor. Oh my god, we got Boba Fett. He's out and about. Actually, I don't even think that was Boba Fett. I think he was just a heavy. But I think he's got a jetpack as one of his abilities. Right, let's have a little looky here. Problem is, is they could be camping all over this Disruptor. Because they know exactly where it is as well as we do. So, I'm just going to leg it in with a shotty. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're good. I think just one of our dice guys died with it. There we go. Cool. Let's go for it. Ooh, there may be a guy there, actually. I need to be careful. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm probably in line of sight here. I think there's an enemy there on the left, yeah. There was an enemy on the floor just there, but it was actually the, the MTT that got me. That's obviously the major risk, isn't it, with trying to fire the disruptor, is the fact that you are just completely in the line of sight of the MTT, and the icon is very apparently there as well. So, you know, unless he's going to fire slowly, there's not much else you can do about it. You've just got to keep trying and brute forcing it and just hope that the allies don't um, get you or his allies don't get you. Whoop, he's going to fire at my face. Yep, I thought he might do. Right, let's see what we're working with here. So there should be a disruptor. Where's the other disruptor? Oh, God, it's right the way back there. Jeez. Let's go get it. They're only about a third. Oh, actually, no, they're only two-thirds of the way towards the objective. Yeah, dude, I think they might be, actually. That's not good. That's not good at all. Just keep an eye out for people. I'm worried that there's going to be someone around here. No, we're good. Man, these disruptors are really far away. This is almost telling me to go back to the mission area, but this is definitely where I'm meant to be going. Here we go. Right, grab it. Right, let's get gone. See what we can do. Just worried that the... No, it's just out of range at the moment. Are we within range? I don't know what the range distance is on it. No, it's 112 still at the moment. Damn, I've got nowhere to go from there. Can I switch out to my shotty? I can, I can, I can. Right, just got to be careful here. There's going to be quite a few enemies. I tell you what, if I can get far enough behind enemy lines, I could probably get a decent shot off here. Yeah, like if I could go across here, this would be magic. There are just going to be some enemies here, though. Yeah, let's see, there's some just there. I don't think they know I'm here. Although, actually, no, in fact, they will do. Because, yeah, they know exactly where I am because of that nonsense. Because of the icon above my head. Ah, oh, damn. I should have had allies with me. So this is the thing, is nobody else is playing the objective with me. Unless everybody's defending the other Ion Disruptor, nobody's with me, which is a bit of a shame. Right, come on then, let's go. Two heavies, two soldiers. Let's do this thing. There's one Ion Disruptor to be picked, to be picked up there. Oh, man. We've been pushed right the way back to the um, to the building. 
It's not good. So basically, when you get inside the building, there are two objectives inside of here. First one is you need to unlock the doors. And then the second one is to take control of the throne room. So it's a real, it's a real like back and forth between the two teams in terms of like corridor coverage and stair climbing. There's a guy around here somewhere. I'm not going to let him catch us off guard too heavily. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, there he is. Oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. Nice. Oh, yeah, cool. Headshot with it. Good, 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 good. Don't think I need to heal up just yet. My battle points are okay for the meanwhile. Right, where's that disruptor gone? Oh, is it easy? You, you got it? Oh, no, we've got Ray. We've got Ray. We've got Ray. That's fine. Ray's going to take him out. Good. Oh, no. Who killed me? Oh, you're at the uh, the MTT now. Interesting. Target hit. MTT damage. Target hit. I hit the target over here. You hear me? Target hit. Come on. It's on 29 health. If that ion disruptor can go off, then we're going to be set. Just got to try and get to it first. Oh, but he is not going to let me get there easily. Han is out and about as well. This might actually go okay. Yep, they're really going for it. Oh, yeah, I've got it. I have to go in through that way. Come on then, come on. Go, 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 go. Roll. Gotcha. Right, got it. Oh, you're firing it. Nice. Good job, good job. Did it fire? Yep, I think it did. Nice. If he does one shot in here, though, we are done for. Uh, return to the mission area. Nope, we didn't make it in time. They've managed to breach it. He's about to blow that wall completely down. Look at that. Ooh, oh, we only went back up to 44. So if we can kill 44 enemies before they complete their next objective, then we're going to be good. There's plenty of dudes coming from this angle, aren't there? Oh, my word. Come on, get him, get him. Oh, yep, got him before he managed to roll. Right, let me get back into this zone. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Right, it's just a case of holding this now. So it's this room that they're going to come for, and they're going to go for that console right there. So it's basically just the means... Of holding this area and holding this defense so maybe if i chill like here this might be a good spot just gotta be careful there's no way they're gonna get through there because there should be so many guys stationed there that it should be easy enough i'm just gonna wait and see if they breach don't think they will maybe it's worth me standing here oh hold on hold on sounds like they might be getting close no actually they're maybe not where are they where are they any more no, these droids just aren't making it, are they? Whoa, okay. I got hit in the back. Uh, lobbing grenade down there. Whoa, they're also lobbing grenades. <laughs> Get out of the way. Let me, let me burst the heal on. Nope, no one there just yet. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Only 21 people left to kill. Do I go for some glory kills? That's all I really need to do right now. Let's have a little wander over this way. See who's knocking about. Okay, some guys coming up that stairs there. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Nice, there's one, there's two. Uh, triple kill, almost, almost down. Man, if I could have pulled out my shotty. I'm sorry, how did you kill me from there? Was that a nade? That has to have been a nade. <laughs> I was like, what? He, he's literally through the floor. All I'm seeing is a wireframe of him. Uh-oh. Don't let him get to that west control door. They're not even started on the east one either yet. So I think we've got this. And I think these doors only open to us currently. Yeah, buddy. Right, sod it. I'm getting my shotty out. I'm just going to destroy some faces. You ready for this? Where are they? Nice. Nice. Oh, no, it's all over. Victory! I didn't get any crazy kill streaks like I did last night, but at least that was a nice little sort of demonstration of how the game works. So I believe the game comes out on November 17th, I want to say. Uh, I think that's actually the exact same day as Pokemon Sun and Moon Ultra, if that at all interests you. Uh, but there you go. There's a little look at Star Wars Battlefront 2. Let me know in the comment section below, who is your favorite class to play as if you've managed to get into the beta? And are you going to be picking the game upon launch? I think I probably will. It seems like they've made a lot of improvements since the previous game. So thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.